Are you tired of logging on to the Donut SMP only to find out that your base was just raided? Well, I have a solution for you in today's video. So to make a base unraidable, what you want to do is you want to slash RTP and you want to go to the overworld. I see a lot of people make their bases in the nether and the end dimension, but there is one slight problem. In the end and the nether, pie charts are actually working. And what that means is people can use a little feature called a pie chart in the bottom right of your screen. If you do shift F3, it'll pop up. And then by using the pie chart, they're able to find your base. It is a little complicated, so I won't be able to explain it all in today's video. But basically, the premise of a pie chart is they can use it to find your base. The good thing about the overworld is that the pie chart does not work. So if you build your base in the nether, they can use a pie chart and find your base very quickly. And if you build your base in the end, they can also use the pie chart and find your base very quickly. So that's why you want to RTP to the overworld, just like I'm doing now. So as soon as you RTP for the overworld, you want to travel away from the RTP spot. The server has a bunch of random spots that it teleports you to, but the players are teleporting teleported to the same random spots like it's not diverse at all so you can actually rtp where someone else previously rtp'd before that's why you want to fly or run away from that place i suggest traveling hundreds or even thousands of blocks away from where you rtp'd from that way people can't rtp above your base while you are traveling away from the rtp spot you want to look for an ocean because oceans are the best biomes to build a base in the reason being is because an ocean is very vast and it is very large and there's no land anywhere people are not going to even think of finding a base underneath all that water yo uh, my elytra literally just so right here i found a little ocean and i'm just gonna build my little small base you could just use a big body of water as well because no one's gonna think to actually mine underneath all this water to find your base and that is why oceans or large bodies of water help to hide your base it's a very big struggle to try to find a base underneath all this water you just want to pick a random spot in a large body of water and you just want to dig straight down straight to bedrock i suggest picking a spot where there isn't gravel that way you can replace the item you broke so for example i'm gonna mine straight down where this dirt is then once you break down you want to make sure that you cover the spot you broke that way no one can actually see that there's a hole leading straight to your base i suggest at least covering up to 10 blocks of where you mine from if you want to make extra sure no one finds your base or your little hole you want to cover it up using a silk touch pickaxe that way you get the original item you mined so if you want to make extra sure just use a silk touch pickaxe and place the blocks you mined since this is just a video i'm just gonna mine straight down because it doesn't really matter but in your case you'd want to replace the blocks you mined that way no one finds your hole so once you reach bedrock you want to build up at least five blocks so one two three four and five and that way as you can see right there the bedrock reaches the fourth level but if you want to build a floor for your base the bedrock would not get in the way so that's why i suggest building five blocks up once you hit bedrock the next thing you want to do is you want to build out a small little area and you do not want to make it too big because if you have a big base your base will be easier to spot and it will be easier to find the maximum area i suggest for a base is probably probably going to be a 15 by 15 area so that would be 15 blocks this way and then 15 blocks that way since this is just a video i'm just gonna mine out a small little area real quick and then i'm gonna show you guys how to hide your actual base when you are finished building it all right so let's pretend i actually finished building my base and this is my base very nice <laughs> very beautiful you want to start putting like all your stuff up your storage your spawners and all that like your glowstone for lighting but you will not be doing any of that because you can actually get raided very easily if you just place everything mindlessly down we use barrels because barrels could not actually be tracked in the pie chart even though it's a storage unit you place the barrel down open up the pie chart and it does not appear that means no one is going to find your base if you just have this in your base enchantment table so if you place an enchantment table it's going to pop up in the blocks as well as the shulker box because shulker boxes are also considered to be entities in the block entities of the pie chart to counteract this you want to mine your enchanting table and mine all your shulker boxes and just put it in a barrel and they're completely hidden from the pie chart and no one will ever find your base but if you do want to put lighting in your base there is a slight issue because espers actually use blocks like glowstone to indicate if there's a base or not so if you have a bunch of glowstone they're gonna actually be able to see if they're esping or x-raying i'm sorry guys but you literally cannot do anything about this except for not use light that is literally the only counteractment of cheaters if you don't want cheaters to find your base although there are very slim cheaters but there are a couple and if your base gets raided by a cheater i am actually so sorry because you cannot do anything about that to sum it up if you don't want your base to get raided you want to rtp and build your base in the overworld and travel to an ocean and then dig straight down and then build five blocks above bedrock and then build your small base you do not want to make a big base you want a small little base maximum of 15 by 15 area and then you do not want to use any light 
resources because ESPers can see it and you want to put all your block entities that are tracked by pie charts inside barrels and use your barrels for storages because they are not tracked by the pie chart. Anyways guys, if this video helped you in building your base on the Donut SMP, then make sure to drop a like and maybe subscribe because we're trying to hit 5,000 subscribers. So yeah, peace out. See ya.